Today we're going to look at inversion ankle sprain of the ankle and I got a message regarding a rehab plan on how to make this better. So initially, once you've done the ankle strain, you want to ice it until it goes numb four times a day. So it's normally 10 minutes or 20 minutes of icing the area and you want to go all around the painful area and you'll, you'll notice your ankle will be a bit more puffy on the sprain side than the other side. So icing, is, it seems really simple, but it's really, really important. So don't forget to ice and you want to maintain that while you've still got some inflammation or pain in the area. Once, it, once that's gone, you can start to do some flexion extension exercises, so non-weight bearing. You can do this motion, um, and then you can do pronation and, and supination, or inversion and eversion. Once you've done that, you can start to move on to weight bearing. So you can go as what ballerinas do, so toe stands. So you come up onto your toe, and you can go up as high as you can comfortably, and then back down. So you can say do three sets of 10 and you can build up to 100 repetitions a day. So you go as far as you can within the pain free range, you go to the edge of pain and then return. Once that gets better, you can go up as high as you can. Once that gets better, you can go up and then do one foot. And you do obviously both sides to keep create balance and it will be a lot more challenging on the side you've injured. Once you've done that, then you can build up to movement. So you can try and go for a light jog, for example, which is going to put more impact through the ankle. And then once you've done that, you can build up to skipping, which will be quite challenging for the ankle. So you can do um, you can do repetitions. I, I tend to go for a thousand skips and obviously you build up to that. So you can do three sets of 10. Once you can do that, you know your ankle is in a good condition to be able to do anything because plyometrically it's able to explode when you need it to in terms of the muscle is able to contract. There is a 30% of reoccurrence in ankle sprains for people who have inversion ankle in, uh, in injuries within the first three months. You've got to be careful. And if you are going back to football or, or activity quite quickly, you want to strap it while you're doing the activity, but not at any other time.